So any uh, variable which is starting with the this is a global variable means it is can this the scope of this uh, variable is uh, accessible out of the function also that's how it is actually and okay. and uh, this dot grid I am giving one more uh, function here this dot grid equal to function and I am giving console dot log this dot greeting this one okay okay or you can also play with the this one like this this dot some uh, some stuff here I'm giving and here and in some uh, function and in some function and then and taking some more control log more control log here I am going to Okay. So I have created yeah, uh, this is a one this is one function, this is one more function. This is like uh, I am getting this variable from uh, variable what we declare here create. So this is a this totally again a one function, a function inside a function, function and all. Okay. So now the thing is I am going to export this uh, greet R as an object. Okay. Anything which is started with the new is like a, a initiating initiating object. Initiating object. Yeah. So I am uh, uh, now I am going to initiate the object. Then let us think like if you have any class. Uh, uh, and all if you have some uh, function like a uh, function uh, yeah. I want to you know, uh, refer this function in Java Java in Java it is like classes we can able to initiate right just like an your yeah. instance is created with this new that's what I am about to tell like uh, some here where a is equal to new here I am going to new like a right okay, so now we can yeah. use where yeah, if we now know we can use that. So all this, uh, uh, yeah, where, where A1 we can use, likewise. Yeah, likewise only this, uh, you know, the above structure is there. So I can okay. now, now I can able to uh, uh, export this pattern. I mean, uh, export this pattern like this also. So that's what the uh, uh, meaning of the read, read three. And uh, one more is like, greet r is uh, this is like i am going to take one variable and i am using the variable with this dot greet and then uh, is equal to some function and uh, like this here i will take one more function here like uh, some city function i am going to write one and uh, okay. Some uh, so yeah. Uh, now all this uh, function is uh, there here. This greeter and that one only I am going to uh, export. And uh, one more is like. Uh, one more how to export it right? where greet equal to hello world and uh, hello world uh, some hello world okay. so here I am going to uh, write one function function b console dot log greeting console dot log greeting now I want to export this greeting okay so can we uh, take the Greetings dot JSON itself as an uh, input here. Instead of yeah, that is. India. Yeah, we can take uh, greetings dot JSON. If you want to take greetings dot JSON, like uh, this is an. Um, see, this okay. is a yeah. This is a. If you want to take this one, you have to follow the path, like index dot JS. See, this is like a. 
and here from here you want to uh, you want to call again require uh, meeting suggestion and you want to get the uh, console.log of that like uh, it is oh okay it's already done okay. yeah yeah it's a different program now here uh, actually uh, uh, i am going to uh, export the um, greetings uh, greet function uh, like 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 this also so this greet represents the so value value this is the value anything on an object is there means if it is an object it's, it is like this type yeah it's like uh, first one is name other one is value other one is first one is key oh name name value pair yeah or key value pair key value pair so likewise if you can see here what is the greet if this greet mentions is value value okay. so what is this value means or function is the value okay this is the just an key so those are defined you are you are defining this one okay don't get uh, confused okay. uh, the part that i am writing the structure here so so now uh, value will be hello india yeah hello india okay. so i will show you the so here value we, uh, we don't uh, put uh, put uh, uh, braces there i mean uh, we yeah we are we are not no no we are not uh, we are uh, no no it's directly it will call that one uh, directly it will call the appropriate uh, function greet function yeah, greet oh. function yeah. i will yeah, I'll show you this so then going to this auto choice executing the uh, first one is like a uh, the hello india is already displayed the uh, uh, um, first one first one is like i am greet one i will put here for better understanding okay greet okay and uh, the second one is like i am greet two. third one is See in the app dot js is the where all the five greets are uh, available. Okay, I will yeah. Okay, I will put all this in one one way, but uh, it won't be confused for you. Okay. So first one is right. and uh, third one third greet get it. Function. Did we give greet one actually, or where greet one, or just greet? The first uh, line one. Line, line one. It's a. Ah, we did we give where greet. Where greet we give? Yeah. Okay. You are you are not able greet. to see. No, I mean. Oh, I mean, I can see only where greet. That's it. I can't see where greet one. No, no. Uh, we are. Uh, no, we are. Uh, I think uh, uh, greet one is like a path only. This oh, okay. path. So a. Yeah, it's so path. Where, yeah. 
One second. Here also, we are having one more. So, uh, so this is how it's conventional. So it's like early, first we need to give all the greet and then yeah. go with the... Uh, first we need to import all. Then we have to import all. You can call one of the targets. So the thing is, uh, first uh, I am, uh, I am uh, getting this uh, greet one. Uh, one is and three two and uh, three uh, three and uh, three two uh, three b uh, why it is three b means i am calling the function greet instead of three b mm -hmm. that's why it means it's there like just a group r and here our more function is just you can call Likewise, Tokyo also, right? Okay, a function inside function. Yeah, function inside a function. Suppose so this uh, one, uh, uh, the app dot js. Uh, we are given capital letters G. Will that re execute, or uh, is it okay? The convention is correct. Cap for greet four. Where greet four? It should oh. be lower case or any case is fine. Line number, Line number five. Uh, Line yeah, this five. is okay. This is okay. Ah, ah you can give it's a, it's a user defined number. It's a user defined okay. number. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter like yeah. yeah, you can give any name here. Any, you can give some ABC also. Oh, okay. The caps, lowercase, anything. No, 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 nothing. Nothing else. It's not like uh, it's not mandatory. Okay. Okay, let it be great on this side. It'll be easier to remember. Okay. See now uh, all these greets what they do they will call one after the other the uh, functions uh, I mean these modules in different ways. Okay, why I am telling you this uh, greet uh, this one is because most of the time you want to require the uh, the modules. Of the other applications into your main application. Here, the main application sense app.js is your main main folder or file. From there only, you are calling the other uh, uh, files and all. If you see in real time, also we will be having index.js or index.html, which is like calling all other HTMLs or all other controllers. Okay, so you when when whenever you are, whenever you require that controller or that uh, module or that uh, HTML file, though they will be available as a self-invoked functions. But once you are calling that function only, it will be available for your controller or your service file or wherever you are calling. Suppose if you want to do some HTTP post call. But the service I have written in some JS file. Okay, now I want to call that uh, post call to my uh, some of some of the controller. Okay, though it is a service call, so what what I will do? I will go and do the uh, call for for that function, and I, I I will go and get the request and response of the post, and I will send the whatever the uh, body it is required, and I will get the output. Likewise, it is. So it is like you are you are you are centralizing you are centralizing your total application in in any of the uh, applications. The total application will be will be centric. It will be there in once one 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 location will be calling. I mean all I mean all, all, all the modules in for for example for one application. Uh, yeah, likewise it is. So. Ours also like that only in Node also we are we are we are checking up we are uh, making this data into the chunks of codes we are segregating this into the modules and then we are using them in the app.js or some other controller or wherever it is 
so it will be helpful for the, for, for, for us to call what what service at what type yeah. for simplification so, purpose uh, yeah so this app dot js uh, like it's like application dot js finally uh, we'll be executing this one uh, yes yeah and and also uh, in the fr uh, i mean in the u uh, front i mean in the local host yes. we will see uh, app dot js only yeah the local host also we will uh, we'll be seeing app, app dot js i didn't uh, come up to the server server uh, and then um, uh, putting uh, putting that i i will show you uh, how to uh, do that in server just now for an uh, just uh, for a basic and fundamentals, uh, uh, I just came up with the JS files, how to play with JS files and modules. Finally, all this will be there in the uh, server only. So, uh, so here, sir, like uh, just small uh, doubt out, out of this. Uh, so, we, uh, we, uh, we, when we are connecting to database uh, from here, like now we are just using some... Uh, Mock data like from in, in our uh, thing uh, itself. We need to have one more JS file, just a small doubt. So, yeah, you can have see, you have to have uh, a yeah, separate layer, separate folder. Suppose in your application, uh, some uh, DB, DB files are there. So, so your, uh, your JS programs are interacting with the DB. What, uh, what is the thing is that will interact with the DB, uh, DB in a way like. Uh, with the post call or get call or what, whatever the calls you are doing with that if it is a if it, it is a if it is a no sql database if it is a no sql database you can directly interact and and also if it is a sql also you you require the appropriate module if it is a pg postgres sql postgres sql you require the pg uh, mod, uh, module to interact uh, post or get call or whatever uh, uh, what I mean uh, operations you want to do from there you okay. want to you want to get this to the API okay, okay. from that API only you are you are going to call the front end and get the response it is like okay. so this one I had one, one more doubt like is are they using microservices here for the rest uh, rest service uh, are they using microservice or what do they do it means like uh, if I have if I have one uh, get call, I'm going to get uh, employee information from the database. Okay. Uh, so if I'm uh, so I will give uh, I'll give employee ID as a uh, means I uh, I will give the uh, uh, get uh, get I will ask I'll, I'll I'll give the request and the response I'll get it from uh, the database uh, like uh, so the employee uh, employee details. So this, are, uh, uh, so yeah, the for that architecture, here we are having Express yeah. actually. Express oh, is a, oh, oh. yeah through the Express. Express or the Express will do routing and all. What uh, and also oh. and also it will do this post call get the whatever the calls we are having through the Express uh, okay. module. You can install the first. You want to install the Express module in your package.json, and from there onwards you want to do. Uh, you, if you want to, if you want to get call, do some express dot get, and you want to in the brackets you want to do the uh, path of where uh, to which to which JSON from which JSON you are getting, and then you are uh, you are going to get that in a data. So uh, okay. yeah, that data, that's the uh, rest that data. Like because you, you can console log it. Uh, obviously, your data will be calling. See, this uh, data and also uh, ERR, these are the uh, default functions available. Data and uh, oh. ERR and uh, post and get and also they are the default values available within a function. So you can, you can just call uh, uh, that data, whatever it is, uh, uh, I mean console.log data and then you can, you will get that in the uh, some uh, uh, as in JSON in your log. If you want to get into some JSON and all, you can you can write that uh, in a JSON uh, file like like this. Simple, uh, simple like, uh, One more thing is that uh, sir, do, can we test this in SOAP UI 
uh, or a postman like that the services here uh, using uh, this one yeah we can Then test we, it how we can test it no no i mean sir you, you you cannot test it this program but you can test you can test the api api services only yeah like, api uh, services only if you see so pi yeah if you see so pi also that uh, requires yeah. the yeah, finally it requires http right? correct correct yeah finally http or http yes, we any, any the, um, there should be some server around it you can uh, yeah you can uh, take the uh, express routing through see in the local host 300 suppose my server is running i am getting some data let us think like that so you you take it and then paste it in your uh, postman you, and also you have to configure the, the postman uh, obviously it will it, it, it will get the data i thought you are uh, uh, i think you are, if you are asking in a different way like uh, uh, see there are apis like this right like. one is like uh, uh rest based apis some api uh, some if i am going to call some api slash students dot json likewise likewise it will be there this is like an uh, uh, rest api create, uh, creating a rest api and then uh, uh, writing an api or or what what it is http uh, http some Uh, I am having some kind of about this guy. If you are working with some niche platform slash some uh, uh, customers that with uh, JSON like this, let us think of this. So this is a this is yeah. If you are uh, doing this is a internal API. This is an internal API which will contact the front end from the back end. This is a this is an API already which is contacted. so if you want to uh, get this uh, api http uh, suppose express dot express naming as a front end express dot i am going to get it what yeah so if i am going to get uh, some http right should be in quotes uh amix uh, from the some customer that person so the customer uh, customer that person again okay so it is this uh, again uh, this again if i want to get to the customer data what what is the thing is like you want to give some um, data aramark function this aramark function function that like npm data so what Yeah, like this, you can get the uh, uh, JSON. I mean, to your console dot log. So, so uh, you did mention about uh, yeah. So, if you it is mention about asynchronous. Asynchronous. Yeah, continuous. Continuous. Sorry, sorry. Continue. Yeah, I went. Uh, if you are uh, asking, load uh, will be telling uh, somewhere right. Fine, fine. I, I will be continuing with my. I, I will tell you that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> I, I, I thought you you got the requirement. That's why I am telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. I understood this one. Uh, and about you did mention about asynchronous way of. Uh, yeah, I will tell you that from next next chapter. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. okay. so uh, the first one is like greet uh, i am going to call the first uh, uh, file this one and i am going to get this one greet greet one dot js okay greet one dot js and then i am going to get hello world i am in greet one 
and in this grid tool, uh, I'm going to get module.export.grid and then I'm going to apply I am in grid two, right? So we have this one. This is the first one, first output. And this is, this would be the second output. This uh, second one is the second output and then I am going to get the, I am in grid two, right? And uh, yeah, uh, uh, the grid three dot, grid three dot, uh, great. Here, uh, uh, here I am going to get. Uh, I am in grade grade three. From uh, how like means I have been uh, created an object, and then uh, for, I mean this function is there. No? So uh, from the grid, the grid R function, this greeting will be. Uh, I will be getting from this grid function, and then the, um, likewise I will get the output as grade three. Okay, and uh, one more thing is like. So, uh, small doubt is here. Can you go back to that file? Uh, yeah. Now we have initialized a new object called the greet r. Where are we using greet or oh, greet r function dot greet r? Uh, this one but, we are, when we initialize yeah, new object. Uh, yeah, actually it's like uh, this. Huh? This is like uh, the function what we are calling. Like uh, um, yeah. We have uh, used that, right? Which one? No, no. This greet is called na greet greet greet. Uh, uh, this one tenth line. Oh, oh, oh. So, so actually, I am getting that one. Oh. I am getting the uh, function. Uh, I am getting the uh, function actually. Obviously, this uh, statement will come. I have been, I have entered into it, and then, okay. uh, yeah, I have entered with the power of this module, and I went and called this create, uh, uh, I mean, this file. That was only this one. But once you are calling this create, obviously, you are uh, uh, this create, once you are requiring this one, what that means is this total, this total file. This total file, right? Uh, up to here, okay. Yeah, so but you are uh, getting this data, yeah. you are getting this data, right? So, with, uh, within this data, what is the function you have? Two functions you have one is greet, other one is torture. You have so, I uh, so what, uh, uh, what I am calling here, greet, I am calling here. This one, greet. that's how I will be getting the value. I am in grade three. You are asking uh, something, oh, okay. else, yeah. This is this one, yeah, only, right? okay. Uh, this is like uh, the above one, only this is a reflection of the problem, correct? Correct, mm, yeah. correct, correct. Yes, that is correct. Okay, uh, okay. Tokyo, we have not used that's okay. Then again, export dot. So, so new uh, this line number 11, just one small doubt in that uh, page itself. Line number yeah. 11, I had a doubt, yeah. Uh, let's go back to the other page, sir. Yeah, three. So line number eleven, we have module dot exports is equal to new greet r. So when we are in, uh, in, initializing this greet r, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, so usually like I'm just comparing with uh, Java. Like if we initialize that object, we will uh, we will use that object and we'll try to uh, get the variables. Yeah, we will get the values. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the values. So uh, so where are we doing that here? You are exporting this total radar function. What is this uh, um, 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 radar function now? Here, here, if you see the what this is your this is the replica of your radar. Okay. This, is, this is your replica of your radar. Now, what are the functions in this data? Means one is like a Tokyo, other one is like greet. And also correct. one one variable is what is greeting. Correct, correct. Now I can able to access these three. 
okay so okay. what if i if i want to pass the variable if i want to change the uh, variable also i can change the variable in a dynamic way and then i can uh, um, get display the variable so uh, this greeting is a variable which is there inside which is there inside the greet tree so i have okay. changed that to, uh, uh, variable to some other change hello world or something like this and uh, i am going to get the output here so dynamically also we can we can change the uh, uh, i mean a variable yeah. and uh, one more yeah. this is how it is the uh, now if you want like for greet greet dot okay and then okay so what डायनेमिकली We are giving the same the new variable. Yeah, you have to ask questions. Other one, uh, yeah, but uh, good interest in it. Okay. And uh, one more thing is, uh, yeah, okay. And uh, where are you going to greet the uh, new new greet for? So I am going to get uh, this uh, greet for. This is one more another different module. And here I am going to get the greet and city are the two different functions. So I am going to call, uh, you know, um, greet uh, uh, function here. So like that's uh, put it like hello world. I am in greet four. Okay. Uh, finally, I have I have greet five. In this greet five I am having uh, directly, but this key like a key value pair also you can export here. Uh, Data. I mean, a module, and also you can export your module as a variable. You can export your module as a initiation of an object. You can export your module as a, uh, I mean, a, a function, and also you can export your uh, module as a function without name. Okay, these are the several ways of exporting your module to your application. These are module patterns. These are useful while you are writing the coding. Okay. Any doubts up to here? No, uh, no, sir. Uh, can you just go to uh, greet four, sir? One minute. Uh, just greet sure. Four. This is also like uh, object-oriented programming only, right, sir? This one. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, JavaScript is also not purely uh, object-oriented. Uh, it's like it, yeah, it's object-oriented. Uh, it's an object-oriented only. You can use, uh, but but not. Uh, I think it's not purely object-oriented. Uh, it's you can use the uh, most of the time. It is not like uh, Java. Like uh, in Java. What is like uh, you want to create an object and then you want to call uh, the functions and values you can manipulate. We'll use this kind of scenario very less, very less unless and unless until it is required. But here it's not like that. You can anything is like uh, chunks of code only. Means uh, um, a bit of code, a bit of code, a bit of code. All these accumulating together one application. Okay. Yeah. 
one more is with uh, one. this uh, this one india yeah. okay thank you what is this starter i uh, nothing that you ignore this one so uh yeah. this is like uh, i i have given some export uh, exports and export module that i will teach you One second. First, uh, I have taken here uh, one exports in an ant function. Yeah, and I give you here uh, uh, exports. I am console logging the exports, and uh, and, I, and I am going to console log the uh, uh, exports uh, module log export uh, for the differentiation. that just so for the first one what it will have, uh, in the after the app i am going to call greet to dot greet uh, means greet to is greet to i am going to call this greet function so what will happen here first it will go and execute this uh, exports and the uh, module dot exports so first it will go and get this hello and uh, and which is like uh, uh, hello first one is like this uh, export hello and this module dot exports this one and uh, second one is like greet and greet function uh, earlier uh, but uh, see here uh, the thing is i have uh, start since i am not giving here the i am not calling this uh, uh this uh, i mean this file this greet file i am not calling this greet this file greet to dot greet i am only calling this one this, this one alone so what will happen yeah this exports the first this uh, it it will execute the exports and also module dot ex, uh, module dot exports also some value we will get Okay, but coming to the greet, we are not since we are not calling it. It will be getting only exports, but uh, not this module dot export since we are not uh, we we'll we are not using it. Uh, yeah, here like uh, um, exports dot greet is equal to function. I have given from there. I uh, uh, actually uh, I am getting exports and uh, module dot exports I am getting, but but coming to the greet, 
I won't be getting the first uh, second value. It means this is not exported till now. I am exporting this one after uh, yeah after the uh, uh, I mean happening of second. So the value won't be available. The uh, value will be available for the exports one. So it it won't be showing any uh, uh, exported file. But coming to the uh, uh, second file, the second uh, once I am filing is great. This exports is available as well as module exports is also available because already it's been taken the value from the grid. Okay, it, it's been taking the value uh, from the grid, but since it is not, uh, it's not called at the very initial point of time, this won't be taking the value of this module dot exports. It's uh, just a small difference between exports and uh, module dot exports. Unless until we are calling uh, the module dot exports, it won't uh, show the value. Unless until uh, yeah, unless until you are uh, calling to the front end or you, uh, wherever it is required while while you are importing this um, uh, module start exports, it won't it won't get the value. Only exports will 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 show the value throughout the application. So in this exports, uh, I have given here one function, but but this is available. Yeah yeah, but this is um, available. Uh, unless uh, uh, even I am called or I am not called, that is available for the application. But coming to this module dot exports, it won't be available for the application. Why? Because it's not called in the front end. Only greet two dot greet is called. That's the difference between exports and the module dot exports. Okay. So, a small example. And, um, this one morning we saw. Um, one second, I will have, have water and come in a second. Give me some two minutes of time. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So we will see one small example of um, okay. how like uh, general synchronous way of executing will work. Okay. Uh, yeah. Suppose I uh, um, have um, file here. Just think of uh, so in this file, uh, I'm doing some alert and some kind of uh, I'm giving some first. So in general, what it is like, all these uh, three will be executing one after the other. Okay. Okay. So session and link space not js so okay. if i am giving uh, this one I, the, all the three will get execute one after the other okay if i am giving any function in between let us think like uh, i am giving some 
set timeout parameter. Set timeout parameter. Set, set timeout is a function in JavaScript. I am giving this one. This uh, double quote denotes the function. This one denotes the function initialization. Okay. And, uh, Uh, comma zero. So uh, zero means uh, without a. This is the time period. Okay, zero time period. Zero, zero seconds. So zero MS. So you should. So if it will execute in that much second, if we give some 10, 15, then it will take lag and it will. It will display. Lag and then display, right? So if uh, I am checking, uh, set timeout. I think one more uh, open braces is there. Sorry. The first two are executed. Okay, if I'm giving any condition, right? What it will do? Okay, you go and execute that one the next time. These two are oh. these two are executed at the very first time. They are executed at the very first time, and then it will be deployed. Now. But within a milliseconds of time, it will execute the, this one uh, in the next queue. It, it won't. It won't get. It won't uh, get, uh, get get wait and, until it is executed. Okay. okay. It, it will directly go to the other statement, and it will keep on executing. Like uh, if it is any loop, if it is a uh, finding or condition, condition wise, so what it will happen? It will go and execute uh, 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 that that one later on. Suppose if I am giving here, and this is for if I am giving this one. So, what is happening now? The fourth also already executed. The second has been delayed. Even though it is zero milliseconds, it is executed after after some time. It won't wait for the other. Uh, it won't wait for this execution. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the server won't wait for this, uh, this execution. It will be keep on uh, uh, executing. Once once this uh, once it is finding any condition, it will execute it later on. Like, that's why it's like a non-blocking IO. This is uh, the non-blocking IO. So I think uh, we have discussed uh, many things today, like uh, exports yeah. in the yeah, and require. So this this one is uh, asynchronous way uh, way right, sir, because it's not uh, or it is a synchronous way. I got confused. This is a uh, yeah. This is an um, asynchronous way. This this is this is totally it is um, um, non-blocking. Asynchronous way is like see uh, we can uh, we can there are some methodologies uh, while uh, while while we are executing. Uh, it, these three are synchronous again. These uh, okay. these three are synchronous again. This is okay. uh, I am just telling the what is a non-blocking I/O node. What is the basic behavior of node? But uh, there is okay. one more topic uh, like um, events and event emitter. There you will get asynchronous uh, way of executing. Suppose if you have some three conditions like that, if uh, a a greater than b or something like that, I have some four conditions. All of them will be executing uh, parallelly. Okay. That that is asynchronous. Okay. 
it's in the once we started this is also in start okay that is in uh, event emitter concept uh, okay uh, petrol, yeah we will uh, just to practice this one uh, i will send you the files so we just practice them in whatsapp i will send you in whatsapp to practice the files okay. and, and uh, 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 we will have a session tomorrow uh maybe uh, at the same time or morning morning in our time uh, i will inform yes. you yeah so yes, sir, I, and, uh, also yesterday yesterday sent to, i mean today mornings uh, uh, on the the mornings video that also i will send you Yeah, we can wind up for today.